I am one stubborn fucker, you know that? Or maybe you know that, if you know me you know that. So when someone tells me not to do something, checking I didn't push the button, not to do something, I'll do it. If someone tells me I can't do something, I'll do it and I'll try even harder. Right now, I'm walking around the track in the wrong direction. It fucking matters, we're in New York and no one pays any attention anyway. Now, the other side of that is, when somebody tells me I should do something, I just won't do it. So what does that apply to? Has anyone ever told you? Oh, you should go to a uh, blah 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 restaurant. You're gonna love it. You should watch this movie, it's perfect. You should, you should. How the fuck does anyone else know what I should do? You should go and live in blah 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 blah, you're gonna love it. You know what, what if that place that you love is a fucking horror story for me? Yesterday, you're gonna love so-and-so, so-and-so. You know, if I need a car, I'm not gonna love it. I don't care where it is, I don't drive. I'm done with that shit. Oh, you need a car, but everyone has a car. I don't give a fuck what everyone else does. I care what I do. Okay, that's not selfish, but it starts with me, you know? But me and my family, you know, I don't live with my family. I fucking, the, the whole, concept of families and suburban fucking hell holes it would drive me postal it doesn't fit for me so when someone says you should I just shut down and sometimes that's detrimental and sometimes beneficial but twice in the last few days it's not backfired on me but it's been a refreshing eye-opener so a few nights ago I go to a buddy's place is about eight or nine of us there um, we have a bite to eat a couple of glasses of wine yada 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 and then he says we should play a board game and I'm thinking fuck I don't want to play a fucking board game no we should play it you'll love it I'm going, look, straight away I'm going, I've already decided I don't like it I don't even know what it is so I don't know the rules that's the next thing so I'm making excuses why I don't want to play it I'll sit and watch da 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 this game, apples to apples, doesn't matter what the game is. Like two or three hours later, we're having such a good time. They, there may have been a little wine involved. We're having such a good time, I didn't want to stop the game. We're like crying with laughter, I had a great night. Initially, I didn't want to do anything. So from there, for years, people are trying to get me to Coney Island. You should go, you love it. There's this going on, there's this festival, like when you're young, I'm like, fuck, I don't want to sit on a subway for an hour and a half underground, I'm not going. And then on Sunday, I was instructing down, it won't mean anything unless you live here, Prospect Park in Brooklyn, so it's kind of halfway there from where, I, from where I'm at, top of Central Park, it's kind of halfway there, and I had no intent at all of going to Coney Island, never even occurred to me, but when I'm getting off the subway at Prospect Park, I see this sign that the, the, the subway is going to Coney Island. So then I do my two or three hour stint instructing and I come back and think, you know, if I go back north to this beautiful part of the world, I'm probably going to do the same thing I do every Sunday. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to go to Coney Island. I went down there on my own, which is my ideal way of spending a day, on my own doing my thing with no plan at all so maybe it's that maybe it's the fact I just don't like going doing things with other people I just like doing my own thing I don't know I go to movies on my own I go out to dinner on my own to me that's the most normal thing in the world and that's by choice so I go down there some I don't know fish and chips were fairly crap to be honest um, but go for a walk, walk down the, the boardwalk, walk down the Brighton Beach, and you know, just a little bit of time. And as I'm walking back, this impromptu old school house music is boom, 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 thudding away. A guy with some decks and some speakers on the boardwalk. So I sit there, and there's maybe 20, 30 people dancing, and all of a sudden it escalates fast. And you know, I've not been in that scene that old school house scene for a long long time 
and I realized how much I love that music. And three hours later, dancing my brains out, just, you know, just like, had a great day. But my point here is, sometimes we're our own worst enemies. And if we can step outside ourselves and just say, fuck it, I'm gonna do something different, fuck it, I'm gonna do against what I normally do, sometimes it's a pleasant surprise. So why not think about this? Why don't I just say, you know what, fuck it, oh, here we go. I'm going one way, because someone told me to go the other way, who cares? So, <laughs> so right now, I just got a phone call, blah, 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 someone's in town, go for a coffee, yeah, sure, fuck it, I'll go, I don't care. So this spontaneity of, if you're pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing someone, it ceases to become spontaneous and they'll start pushing back. You gotta go to Coney Island, you gotta go to Coney Island, you gotta go to Coney Island, just fuck off, leave me alone. I get there. So think about that, whether it's life or business, if you're pushing someone, whether it's your spouse, your partner, someone you're trying to go on a date with, if you're in business and you're pitching someone on a deal, whether it's, you know, your parents, you're a parent and you're trying to push your kid through university, which is why I dropped out of school, because I was pushed. People fucking push back. So think about this. Do what you want to do. Don't worry about what anyone else wants you to do. And, you know, some days you might just get pleasantly surprised. So right now I just want to walk here and enjoy this water and breathe into the day. So from Central Park, New York City, walking the wrong fucking way around the track because I can. Tony Cohen, checking out. Adios.